Oh my God. Are the words that were tweeted by Shane Missler, a 20 year old at the time who won $450 million in the Mega Millions. But how did he do it? Was it luck or was it something else? Shane Misler used the law of attraction to win his amount. And he may not have picked the amount that he wanted to win, like Cynthia in her 112 million. But if you go back, you can see he did intend to win. Even with posts like the power of positive thinking should not be underestimated. Or even posts like I can't wait to win the Powerball on Saturday. And these posts show a glimpse into this young man's mind. You see, Shane Misler used the power of positive thinking, but he also used the power that another one used to win the Mega Millions. The power of gratitude. You see, Cynthia Stafford also used the power of gratitude with the power of visualization. Every day when he got out of bed, before his feet even touched the ground, he would say thank you. He was highly motivated to bring his desire to fruition. You see, the power of gratitude will take you wherever you want to go. The power of gratitude is the foundation of receiving. You see, when you're thankful or when you're grateful for something, you're giving off the vibration to the universe, to this reality that you have received something. And so it must give you what it is that you are wanting. You see, and this didn't happen overnight for Shane Missler. Shane even posted a few months prior that I can't wait to win the Powerball this Saturday. Did he win the Powerball that Saturday? He did not. But that did that deter him from going and doing it again and still keeping his positive mindset? Of course not, because he won the Mega Millions. So the thing here and the lessons that we can learn from Shane Missler are this. The first lesson is to be grateful for the life that we have, but at the same time, be grateful for the life that we are manifesting. And number two is that we should keep our vision no matter what happens. He could have played the Mega Millions and the Powerball and he could have gave up, but he kept playing, didn't he? A lot of us, not just with the lottery, but a lot of us give up on our dreams as soon as we have a perceived failure. So in order to manifest what you want, you have to be committed to manifesting what you want. You have to be committed to believing it, even when things don't seem like it's going your way because eventually it will, but only if you stay steadfast in doing what it is that you have to do in order to manifest. Shane Missler did not set the lottery as his end all be all. He kept an open mind. If you go through his Twitter, you will see that he had a motivated mindset. He was gonna get it however he was gonna get it, whether it be from the lottery or whether it be from a different avenue. He was going to get it. And so he kept an open mindset. And this open mindset and this openness to receiving what it is you want and not limiting it to something that you want, like the lottery or something else. You open up more opportunities for it to come into your life. And this was the easiest route for this reality to bring him. So to recap, Shane Missler used the power of gratitude as well as the power of visualization, and as well as the power of being steadfast and not giving up on your dreams. So I hope this video gave you some insight on Shane Missler and how he won using the law of attraction. If you enjoyed this video, please comment and subscribe and leave a comment below. Who would you like to see next in this series? Thank you for watching.